Hello, my name is Justine Powell and this is my page, Mama.Justine. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the most amazing holiday sale going on for launch. They've started it a little bit early so that we can stock up and it's perfect for um, gifts or whatever. So if you would like to share this out, then I would love that. Um, if you have questions about makeup or would like to be color matched or um, want some more information about that, then please message me. Or if you want the most fun job in the world, then um, you can message me about that too. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to be talking about um, one of our most basic wands. So this is the on delay and it just has an on and off switch. It heats up to about 410, 410 degrees. You do have to be careful because it is that 410 degrees all the way around. There is another wand that, um, the Luster, that has a cool tip touch that has, you can adjust the heat setting and it's amazing. But I just wanted to show you just kind of an entry level, um, super easy, um, super good deal right now. And again, this is the Andelay. But I do really, really love the Luster. It's one of my favorite. This is the 24 millimeter, so it's a little bit smaller wand. If you have shorter hair, it's really good for that. Another thing, if you are buying a wand, these are the most amazing thing ever. They are very inexpensive and grab yourself one of these as well. You can find all these products, just kind of tap my nose and the link will come up and that's where you can find them all and all the best deals that there is all season long. All right, so if you don't have a brush, then this is, you are missing out. Blow dryer, you finally got your blow dryer. Are you loving it, Jamie? So yeah, I the blow dryers are incredible. At all, every tool, I have actually not use one tool that I have not really fallen in love with. So, all right, so I don't wanna keep you too long. I'm just gonna go over just really briefly. Um, if you want a little bit more lift, then the root looster can be used dry or wet. I put some in wet, so, but if you want a little bit more volume or if you've got a spot that goes a little bit flat, then that root boost is amazing. If your hair is hard to curl, you want a little bit more texture, the salt and sea, or a little more beachy wave, if this is really good for that. Um, dry shampoo, this is clear, so good for all hair. It's not like a lot of the other ones that are on the market. So dry shampoo, dark hair, white hair, doesn't matter, it does not show and you can use that to really help go a little bit longer in between washings, especially if you're a little bit more uh, oily or whatever. Okay, the other product that I will um, like to talk about is the Merula Oil. If you're a little more dry or need a little more hydration, then this misting spray is super good. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the very end. As the weather is starting to transition, my hair is feeling a little bit more dry, so, I'm wanting a little extra with that. If I put too much of that on, my hair won't hold the curl. So that's just an FYI. And then of course, I'll be using the three-way hairspray. It gives you options of how much hold you want. I think that is just genius. And then don't ever use heat on your hair without using some protection, okay? This is the Rival Heat Shield and it makes a huge difference. We also have clips and um, different things like that that are really fun to check out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I don't want this to be too awfully long. If you're hopping on, please let me know that you're here. And I'm gonna see, um, I'd like to try to curl this as quickly as possible because that's one of the most amazing parts of these products, I feel like, is how quickly you can do your hair. So. Here is the heat shield. Hold it about six inches away so that it kind of mists and gets all over all the strands. And then I like to just kind of brush it through, especially as I'm just getting started. All right, so I like to start from the back. And because 
this is a little bit smaller wand then this is going to curl my hair quite a bit but I've gotten to where I wash my hair once maybe twice a week now and it, this just really holds so well so is it sweater weather where you are I actually think today might be a nice day but we definitely have changed seasons around here all right so I like to just hold this if your hair is hard to curl, you can put a little bit of spray, but I do like to hold it until it's kind of cooled off a little bit and that will hold the curl. So super pretty. And I do my curls a little bit flat. One thing that's really fun to do is do one, one section, like one piece flat, and then do the next piece holding it on, which kind of ropes it. And that will change the look of your hair so that it's not just so uniform. And so I love uniform curls and I love the waterfall curls and all of that, but sometimes it's fun just to kind of switch things up a little bit. So it kind of makes it just a little bit looser curl, but it changes the way the curl looks. So I don't know if you can see the difference, but I think that's what I'm gonna do today, just to kind of give a little more interest. I know, Randy. Actually, I thought I'd try it, <laughs> but I mean, honestly, my pink pick is the easiest for me, and I think it actually holds my hair the best, so I just thought maybe I'd try something else, but <laughs> my pink pick is my go-to. Easy, fast. What do you guys like to use to, to get your hair out of the way? I've actually used those alligator clips, but I have that downstairs in my hair stuff, and I probably should bring one up, but my pink pick is good. All right, so hold this out a little bit. That's what I do. Every single wand does come with a, a glove, okay? So you can wear that. You can even like cut the fingers off of it a little bit if um, it's hard to maneuver, but I would recommend using that until you kind of get the hang of it. I like to just hold, hold a little bit out, and so then I don't burn. But there's a little learning curve, I mean, just like with anything, and don't rub your hand against it. So I just hold that, that out just a little bit. You don't want to hold it on too long, just enough to heat through your hair. So if you have thinner hair than I do, you're going to hold it not as long, okay? So don't feel like you're going to adjust this to what works best for you. All right, so that one was flat. So this one, I'm just holding on and it kind of ropes as we go and hold it there. The biggest thing with this tool is where this does not have the cool tip touch, then you want to be careful as you're moving down the strands that you don't accidentally rub your hand against that. If I'm going to burn myself, honestly, it's not usually wrapping it um, on the, like touching it at the end, like through here it's rubbing my hand against the bottom. But there are other options. The luster is really not that much more than the Andale. And then that gives you some heat protection. I mean, not heat protection. It gives you um, heat adjustment. It has an automatic on and off switch, and then you can adjust the heat to be a little bit hotter or a little bit um, not quite so hot. And it has the cool tip touch, so. That's actually my personal favorite, but I wanted to show you this one because it's on such a good deal. They're all, they're all on sale, but, and this is the 24 millimeter. All right, so let me know if you have some questions. I see some of them coming on, um, but it's not scrolling up a ton, or let me know where you're here. Oh, there we are. Well, there is not a thing wrong with wearing a glove every single time you curl. So I would, that's what you have it there for. So I would definitely 
use that glove than to take the chance of burning yourself. I have burnt myself before and it's really not that much fun. <laughs> so most of the time it's when I'm like showing you guys and trying to use my phone as my mirror or I look away and I'm not paying attention. So that has happened to me too. One thing I love about it is not only how beautiful the curls are, but they last and they're so fast and easy once you get it down. And so taking, you know, 10 minutes or 15 minutes to do your hair and then have it be pretty much done for the rest of the week is pretty awesome in my book. So now if you're having a lot of, you know, high intensity workouts, you're sweating a lot, the way that I protect my curls with that is I actually wrap it into a bun. So I pull it up and I wrap it into a bun and then just put a pony on it. And then I, then I shower and everything, obviously not getting your hair wet and um, get dressed. And then I take my hair out and it really seems to protect my curls. And so, and then at night, I, I've never liked just the feel of my hair just on my neck. And so I lift my hair up over my pillow. And so I'm not actually sleeping on my curls. And so the curls will loosen, but that's fine with me. They're a little on the curly side the first day. So I really kind of like them to loosen anyway. Okay, so that one was flat. So this one, I'm just gonna do that little twist. I'm going down the barrel. Good morning, Monica. I see a few of you guys hopping on. Thanks for being here. If you're here, let me know you're here. If you're sharing this out, please make sure that you write shared. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this here. And put this up. All right, so now I'm just gonna grab that hair back there, make sure that I got it all. And then just go ahead and split that and put the heat shield on it. Remember, again, you want to hold that out about six inches. And then I like to just brush it through. There's a couple reasons I brush it through. A, to make sure I got that heat shield all the way through it. But I also like to make sure that my hair is fairly smooth. I feel like it gives a, a better curl and then I don't have any weird things happening. <laughs> okay, so this one's a flat curl. Just going down that barrel. If you have shorter hair, you may have a little more space in between and that's perfectly great. Hold it on just long enough to heat through your hair. Hold, hold it there. And then um, once it kind of cools off a little bit, then you can let that down. So, oh, thank you, Monica. It's been kind of cold and weather changing, so I decided to um, get out my big comfy sweater. So this actually came from a boutique, like an online boutique. They have some of the cutest things. I, it's called um, Jessica, I think, J-E-S-S-I-K-A-E, -E, if I've got that right. And so you might check them out. I like to support little boutiques, just little online boutiques sometimes. So and that is a, a rolled curl. So maybe you can see the difference. This one is a flat curl and this one's a rolled curl. So by switching them up, it just kind of adds a little more interest. So that's kind of fun to do. Flat curls, you just kind of wrap it around and then hold the hair between your fingers and then bringing that all the way around, holding it at the end. If you want a little more of a tousled look, then just keep a little more of those ends out. And then you're gonna have some straight at the ends, which is kind of a fun look also. 
actually. I'm gonna go ahead and separate this into two pieces, especially where it's around my face. But I'm going to do both of them as a rope curl. So see, well, not only am I having a little bit less hair there, so you can see the wand in between, but a rope curl, you probably will see a little more of the wand where a flat curl will pretty much cover the whole, um, the whole wand. Okay. All right. So now let's get the other side here. A little bit of heat shield, hold it away. and then brush it through. All right, so then I'm just gonna start in the back here. All right, so what fun things do you guys have for the plan for the holidays? Can't believe it, we're just right around the corner already. There is that flat, kind of more of a ribbon type of a curl. Do you fix Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner? Or do you like to go out? Or do you like to go spend it with family? It's fun to hear people's traditions. It's our off year. Well, some of our kids kind of play by the rules, some of them don't. <laughs> but technically, it's our off year for Thanksgiving. So I don't know if we'll have anybody here with us or not, but we are doing some fun things for Christmas. So I don't know. Maybe we'll actually get this remodel done that we've been working on. If you have been following me, then you know we've been doing a master suite remodel and uh, bedroom and bathroom and kind of our upstairs area. So I'm hoping that someday it will actually be done. All right, so there is that flat curl. And then these first ones, I'm just gonna kind of do this rope. Again, I've had people message me or comment that they worry about hair getting too hot or burning it. A, if you are protecting it, and um, we have a few products that you can put on wet that will protect it as well. Um, but for sure use that heat shield and you only leave it on long enough to heat all the way through. If you do that, then you are not going to have issues, okay? Oh, I see some comments coming in. Mashed potatoes, ooh, that's what we should do, huh, Brandy? What is your favorite holiday meal? I would love to know that. So, mashed potatoes are delicious. Some of my grandkids love mashed potatoes and some of them are not fans. I remember loving them growing up and I still love them. Go to the parents' house, that's awesome. Okay, hold on a second. I have a little notification that was right in the blocking mat. All right. Actually, that's my favorite time of all is any time I get to spend time with my family, my children, as well as my grandchildren is just such a highlight for me. I just love that so much. Okay, I'm gonna do this one, a rope curl. Usually when I am not teaching or 
doing this live, this literally takes me 10 minutes to do my whole head. And so it's just so fast. First timers with wand, wear the glove and do a heat free run. Good advice. I, I definitely do recommend wearing the glove if you are just getting started, especially if you have an on delay wand. You just need to get used to it. It's different than anything that you've probably tried before. So this barrel is a 24 millimeter. So that my curls are a little bit tighter than what I normally have. My go-to is the 32 millimeter that I do. All my wands are titanium. My hair is thick. I have a lot of it. And that's what works best for me. Okay, if you have thinner hair, it's really easy to curl. You might be able to get away, you may be able to get away with a ceramic, ceramic but that would never work on my hair. So titanium is what works best on my hair. And the this one is just, it's on such a super good deal right now. Um, but if you want a little more control of the heat and you want that cool touch tip, then I would recommend the Luster Wand. It's a little bit more, but it's not that much more. And I think that you'd be really happy with that. But it, all wands come with a glove, and, oops, and I would definitely recommend doing that. So now this part right here in the front, if you don't want it quite as curly, you can pull it this way and then wrap it, okay? And that's gonna do a little bit more of a swoop. I do want it curly, but I don't want it quite as kinky, so I'm bringing it way bigger in between, okay? so. I'm spreading it along the wand that my hair is not quite as long there, so I can do that. And then bringing that down, okay? So instead of them being so close together, this one has a little more space between it. And then as time goes on, it just kind of settles down, all right? Okay, so now let's go ahead and get this side. Grab your heat shield and a little bit of spray. A little bit of brush and then I'm starting right back here I have a calic in the back so I have to be careful to make sure that I curl curl these hairs just right otherwise I create some separation and it's really hard to overcome that for me and so I try to get up as close as I can Some new ideas for side dishes. Okay. So, how do you redecorate a master bedroom? You had a slab leak in your downstairs tiny bathroom. Oh man, I'm so sorry. We have had water damage before and that is not fun. We had to end up repiping our entire house and because we had three leaks in less than a year. It was terrible. And so I, my heart goes out to you for sure. So it was what we're doing. We moved into a house. We've been here probably about, I don't know, almost 14 years now, I guess. And it had like wallpaper on the ceiling. It had dark teal blue um, on every wall, except for in the kitchen, which was like a Pepto-Bismol pink and tons of wallpaper and the master bedroom, the same wallpaper that was on the ceiling. Then she must have really loved that because it was all over the master bedroom and bathroom. So we took that down right away, but then that was just before the economy kind of crashed. And I had kids getting married, kids in college, 
Um, we had our, the leaks happen. <laughs> it's just like, oh, all these things happen. We started remodeling with a bunch of stuff. And of course, with all of those floods, then we had to redo a bunch of things and stuff. So basically we never got to our bedroom. And so we had taken down the wallpaper. So the ceiling was this dark magenta. And then I had a wallpaper border that she had that we took down. So it was a white stripe and then a dark teal. And then the bottom where the wallpaper was, was white basically, except for where they had all different shades of pink and maroon. And so that's what I've been living with for lots of years because you know, we just kept doing stuff downstairs or our money went to our kids or you know how that is. And so, so see how this part is flat right there. I'm not a fan of that. So I like to take that little section, grab my wand, go right underneath and just gently go underneath it. And then that kind of creates a little bit of lift and height there, okay? So anyway, um, we finally decided to start up there. So that's what we've been doing. So we put shiplap back here and this is finally painted in here. Um, and then we'll get the rest of it. But I do put it on my stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, then you can follow me over there if you want, mama.justine. And um, I, as we make progress, then I show that. And so anyway, so that's, that's kind of a long story of what's going on here. And so, hi, darling. I'm so glad you're here live. Okay. Who puts wallpaper on the ceiling? That's what I thought when I walked in. I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> so if some of you out there put wallpaper on the ceiling, I'm sure that, you know, it's lovely and you have your reasons, but it definitely didn't go here. All right, so now you can just be done. A little bit of spray. I kind of like just work it through with my hands. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything in the back, but anyway, so I usually use a mirror and then good to go and or this can be a base for any kind of updo or holiday look. So one thing that is really fun to do is just pull this down and then just put a clip there. And Lange does have some clips now and so they're not these exact ones but so that kind of changes that look you can kind of do a little bit of lift here, but I think that they are so fun for just changing things a little bit or going from a day look to a party look or a holiday or whatever. You can lift them up so you have a little bit more, but I, it's kind of fun that hair accessories are coming back. So, I mean, it's just so interesting how things just kind of recycle around, right? But. Anyway, so this is a fast holiday look that won't mess up your curls when you're done. Um, then you can just take that out and then just kind of freshen it up. And you can even put a little bit more spray in there and then your curls will still last. So don't be afraid just to kind of do a few little things. Um, you can do kind of a little bit of a roll here too and then just do a little pin, so that's really cute. So anyway, if you do some fun holiday different things, actually I'm gonna put some of this marula oil. If you're using, if you wanna use this marula oil, I found the best way is to spray it in my hand, a few sprays, and then rub it. And I just kind of put that through my hair, okay? If you want a little more beachy curl, then you can also spray some salt and sea at the very end. Um, or like I said, if your hair is hard to curl, then you can kind of work that through your hair and it will add a little bit of texture and might help you a little bit. All right, so now I like to spray with just a little bit of height there. Kind of separate that out just a little bit and then bring that down. Okay. 
And then again, a little bit of height there from that root boost. And then spray that down. And then just put a quick spray and that kind of helps, helps keep the curls lasting as well. And again, if you have hard to curl hair, then you can spray every one of those curls as you're going along. With a 25 millimeter, I really don't need to. With a 32 millimeter, I do do that a lot. So, all right, my friends, well, let me know if you have any questions at all. And um, if you'd like to share this out, then I would love that. Make sure you write shared. And if you use any of these or try any of these products, then tag me, let me know. And um, if you want to be color matched with makeup or have questions there, then message me, okay? All right, you guys are the best. Take advantage of those holiday deals so that they can get here for Christmas, super good Christmas presents. And I will see you tomorrow on Instagram for a makeup look as well as cooking show, tomorrow's cooking show day, or Thursday here for a makeup tutorial. So you guys are the best and I'll see you soon. Bye.